Testing, testing, testing. Hello, hello. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. Testing three. Okay, that seems to work. Oh. I'm resetting my progress. Happy Monday! It is time for World of Horror. I have chosen this beautiful pink palette. I'm drinking some tea from this mug that says, Let's talk shit. Um, <laughs> it is lemon ginger green tea. And I also have some water here. So I haven't played this in a long time, um, and I decided I will just play through the story each time and make some progress. Um, so I just reset my, reset everything because I didn't have much going, so, um, I think the full version of this game is coming out this summer. It's coming out on Switch also. I've only played it on PC, but I really like it, so we're going to adjust the options. You can, uh, zoom out so it's like you're looking at your old computer, but that's really small. Um. And you can choose the palette too. I liked this magenta palette. It's very bright on the eyes. <laughs> um, yeah, you can make it look. And then there's one bit mode, two bit mode. I like it. It's a lot of fun. I can spend so much time just going through the palette. Maybe is there like, I think there's a way to randomize it when you play. So we'll probably do that. Um, and then you have extra options you can do here. I do have a gamepad connected, but I've never played with the gamepad just because you just pretty much click in this game. Click around. But let's get started. New story. Would you like to customize your next playthrough's look? I'm going to do 2-bit and random. The green? 
sure that's fun. Let's go with this. If this is your first time playing World of Horror, it is recommended that you start with the spine chilling story of School Scissors option before trying more complex playthroughs. So you have some options over here. You have death mode is random, death mode is last stand, starting new encounters will kill you if you drop below one. Okay, we're gonna keep it on that one. Difficulty, we are going to play We're going to play the easiest. <laughs> it's a more hospitable place. Timeline, we're going to play the World of Horror. Timeline choice determined. So we're just going to explore this whole thing together. We'll start out with the basic stuff. There's also the occult of Japan. Occult capital of Japan, every year city. So yeah, we're going to do this. The basic stuff to start. Um... And we're going to do the spine-chilling story of School Scissors, a tiny section of a standard playthrough showcasing one of the available mysteries. So let's start there, since it's been a long time. City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980-something. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Okay. Got this cool phone here. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening at reali as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. She's parked here in the middle of the street and jumped out with my gun. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand and you finally arrived in the doomed town. Beautiful. At least the train's still going to this town. Oh. Welcome to World of Horror. Important messages will appear here. You found a new item. Straight Razor, you found a new item. Tayaki. Okay, so this is my character. We're gonna click here where it's blinking. We can click all these things. Straight razor. Equipment. Um, we're going to equip that. It's a weapon. Inspect. Additional info. It reminds you of a certain American heist thriller film. You don't have you don't need to shave right now. So yeah, we're gonna put that in our equipment. So we have a straight razor. I don't know what Tayaki is. Tayaki. Food, folklore. It Gives you plus one reason. Tasty. So I am hoping that's like a permanent um, bump. Like, because I have 17 reason. If I use this, will it give me 18 reason permanently? Maybe 17 is the maximum. <laughs> There's all these icons that you'll learn how, like, what they mean as you play the full mysteries, but spell limit, item limit, spells, we don't have any spells, cauterize, I don't think we need that, status, no boo-boos yet. You can change, I think, the palette here too, if you wanted to change it. It's called Caution Tape. I didn't know they had names. Cherry Candy. Ooh, that's pretty. Occultation. See, this is like where I spend most of my time. Marsh. What's the first one? Oh, Standard. Seaside. Retro Dark. Ooh, I love this purple. We're staying with the purple. <laughs> one bit mode or two bit mode. Okay, so then we want to click up here where this is blinking, the story so far. You've been following the weird cult for weeks now, barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. It's a race against time and you can't rest until our town is safe. I don't know what a skin hag is, but that sounds bad. Uh, we're going to turn the combat tutorial on. 
and we're going to start the mystery. It is 1984. Spine chilling story of school scissors. <laughs> Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it, a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? I'm pretty sure that's what I titled the stream, so... <laughs> What's the worst thing that could happen? I'm going to check my settings. What's the worst thing that could happen? Okay. All right, we're going to investigate this mystery like Scooby-Doo. The school is eerily quiet at this hour. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an eldritch sig sigil, and then the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. So you can access your storage, you can explore the school, perform the ritual, and check out the school lockers. I think we should access our storage. So this is like the, the storage chest from Resident Evil. Got this little Cthulhu figurine here and a little steak knife. <laughs> Let's look at our friend's diary. You've retrieved an item from storage C, so it goes into your inventory over here. Friend's diary. The sigil can weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the lines. So this is the sigil that we'll want to create. Mario is acting straight oh, You can kind of see here on the 17th. Oh, I guess it goes. Mario is acting strange. I need to talk with her after class. I hope she didn't attempt the ritual herself. I fit in the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow I will try to perform the ritual. A strange tall woman has been following me all day. I something must hang on and then this is the sigil so inspect any more additional other pages seem irre irrelevant to the case I hope they're okay so this is the sigil that we're going to need to create to trap or to draw this entity out and make it have a corporeal form that we can destroy all right so Yeah, so let's go look at the lockers. Um, you need a tiny key to open this locker. Locker room, what is this? I don't know what these symbols mean. Like, does this mean it's light in here? What's in here? Oh, that's ugly. It took down a reason. Ah, you found a new item, wooden bat. The wooden bat, blunt, two-handed, its damage is four, speed is 80, chance to 70, slightly dusty. Baseball bat used by school's team. I think I'd rather have that equipped than the razor. Damage is four, speed is 90, chance to hit is 80. They do the same damage. So it seems like the straight razor is 90. Chance to hit is 80. Hmm. Let's go with the straight razor for now in case we have to fight something. It seems slightly better because it's 90 speed and chance to hit is 80. And they do the same amount of damage, which I guess, I mean, but you have to get close to somebody with the razor. The baseball bat, you could just stand for, or we could tape the straight razor to the baseball bat. Um, okay, so this is the locked one. All right, so we've checked out the lockers. We need to, we've went into our storage. There's nothing here. We need to explore the school. <laughs> this is cute. Does it look like her face is like melting? <laughs> Substitute teacher. A tall woman with an unsettling face and twitching lips stops you. I'll be your new biology teacher. Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? We can help her or we can decline. I'm a nice person, so 
I would say yes. I would help her, even though her face looks like a pancake that's melting. Rolled. Luck check failure. The creepy substitute teacher hands you dusty old biological specimens. The rancid smell of formalin almost makes you drop the jar. Should fetuses have so many legs? Minus two stamina. So, my stamina dropped. I resolved this event. Blessed chalk. So we're looking for the chalk to draw the sigil and the holy candles. You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. I don't think there's anything to look at here. I think we have to keep exploring the school. Anatomy class. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Minus another stamina. So you can have all these random encounters that happen during your playthrough. So, see it took my stamina down by one. Something evil stalks the empty school corridors. You found an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left on the roof. You must hurry and find it. Peek outside. Let's peek outside. What's the worst that could happen? To open the door, click on the handle and drag the mouse with the mouse button pressed. Hello? You shouldn't risk that again. <laughs> All right, so that was peak outside. Let's, we have to keep exploring the school. So now we're going to the library, even though we need to go to the roof. Something is wrong. Instead of a clear blue sky, you see the bloated corpse of a long forgotten deity looming over the school's roof. The barrier between worlds is coming apart. You must hurry or risk being noticed by whatever other eldritch horrors still lurk here. Should we try to sneak? Or should we run? I don't know what of these stats affect these things. <laughs> funds, I have funds. I think the charisma, knowledge, perception, dexterity, and strength. I mean, it's a crapshoot, right? But I need the chalk from the roof. So I'm gonna try to sneak. You raise your head in time to see Ath your last single eye glaring down at you. Scream as your mind is flooded with forbidden knowledge and your skin is etched with ancient runes and curses. I got 20 experience and a curse. Cursed signs. Casting spells raises, raises doom. Charred skin forms weird signs. Cool. So now, <laughs> bad shit happens. <laughs> you found blessed chalk, which you can use to draw the sigil in your ritual. You can copy the sigil as best you can on the blackboard. Hopefully it'll be enough. Well, we need it to look like this. So a square with a star in the bottom right. Square. That's it. Okay. But we still need the holy chalk. Or the holy candles. The holy chalk. Blessed, blessed chalk. Holy candles. Same thing. As you enter the school gym, you notice a strange black doll pop, propped up against the wall. Gym doll. We do not have the anatomy class perk. We have to come closer. Against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. You set, your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white, half-eaten corpse. Minus two reason. The sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. <laughs> Didn't we already go to the library? Okay, we've encountered this lady before. We're going to decline this time. It's probably going to do something bad to us. <laughs> I can't. Okay, so at least I found the holy candles. You found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. So I knew we, I know we drove the sigil correctly. 
So now let's perform the ritual with our straight razor and our... What? It's cursed sigils. I have this cauterize. What does this do? Cauterize. Support healing. It gives me two stamina. Should we... Oh, it's a spell? Cursed signs. Casting spells raises doom. Oh well, but let's just cast it anyway. Yay! <laughs> Recovered some stamina for this ritual with the scissor lady. So we're gonna perform the ritual. Wait, what's that? Someone's banging on the glass. You take a step back as a writhing amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Soon it becomes a tall, woman-like creature with three faces all connected by a wide smile. Now it is your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It is also your only chance. We still have our knife, right? Straight razor. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the room, cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? She needs to listen to the Christina Aguilera song. Combat tutorial. During each turn, you'll build a sequence of attacks and moves from the action ring of B. So B is this. Once you fill the sequence bar C, press the launch sequence button to finish your turn. Okay. So we want to go kick. Can I not? I can't choose any other things. Compact. Lots of actions. Okay, so we're just gonna kick away. Keep showing this. Can I not hit with my razor? Okay. I guess for the tutorial, it wants us to do this. So, Scissor Woman has 20 hit points. Damage after each sequence, enemies perform an attack, draining your stamina, reason, or both. So she's going to drain two stamina and two reason each time she hits me. Power, the stat defines your chance to successfully. The higher power, the harder it will be. Currently, your chance to hit is lowered by 16%. Why? <laughs> Alright, let's just launch the sequence of kicking her. Okay. Turn two begins. With time, you will discover new combat moves available through the action filter A. But first, you need a weapon. Find and choose an action called look for an improvised weapon. But I have my razor. Look for it. I've got a broken bottle. Look, a new item has appeared in your upper right inventory. That's your inventory. Click it. I've got a slit mouth. Lady, minus one charisma, minus one strength. Equip I don't want to equip that, though. How about we do the straight razor? You don't have time. All right. Um, what are we going to do here? What does this do? So we need to go back here, and we're going to attack with weapon. Prepare your attack, and then do all that. What does this do? Attack boost. Oh gosh, we're almost done. All right, we're going to attack boost. She killed us. Am I beautiful? You've perished, cause of death, killed by the scissor woman. Level one, difficulty level cultist. Your playthrough lasted 18 minutes, and you didn't complete any mystery, you saw four new events, you encountered one new enemy, and you unlocked one new achievement. 
since your woman stabs you. You will die at the beginning of your next encounter. So we've died, which is typical. But you know, the nice thing about this is we can start over. And this time we're not going to do the combat tutorial. Thanks, exotic tugboa. I don't think I can continue. Oh. Um, I wanted to go back to... Your playthrough. Okay. We're doing a new story. Where is the purple? Was this the purple one? And we are going to do the... story difficulty. And we're gonna do this scissors lady again because we're gonna beat it. We've read through all this. This doesn't change. The rapid technological progress, blah blah blah. Okay, so we have again straight razor, we're going to equip that. The Teaki. I think we'll save that for if our reason gets taken down. It's not a permanent stat increase like I thought it was, so we'll hold on to that. Options, yeah, this is, I think, the color that I liked. Flesh, Ripper. We can do green, green for March. I'm just going to change it each time. Um. The two bit makes it darker. Okay, story so far. You've been following the weird cult. Barely survived. Yeah, the skin hag. Okay, combat tutorial is off. We're gonna start this mystery. Okay. Nothing has changed. We're just we're going through this to actually solve this mystery. So again, we're going to get our friend's diary out. We're going to read that sucker. See, the sigil's different this time. It's a circle with a, a star. <laughs> circle with a star in it. Uh, we're going to go back. We're going to go to the lockers. We're not going to open this locker, because that had, like, a portal to hell in it. I'm going to get this baseball bat. Um, again, I think I'm just going to have it here, but I'm not going to equip it because we've got the straight razor. This still needs a tiny key. Okay. So far, we still have our full reason and our full stamina. So, nothing to look through in here. Now we're going to explore the school again. We're going to investigate the gym this time. Gym baby. So last time we helped her, and it hurt us, and then we declined, and it hurt us. So let's just help her this time again. Oh, success. The creep substitute teacher hands you some old books to carry. Among the mundane titles, you find one called Extinction of Mankind. You shudder, feeling the teacher's gaze on your back. Plus five experience. What, what? Um, I can't remember where our experience tr is tracked. Status. No. No. That's cool. Um. Spell limit. Oh, so we're level one. We have seven experience now. So you can increase your stats. We're going to keep exploring the school. That's all we can do. Go to this corridor. 
this we cannot avoid. It's a beating heart, so we're gonna say yes to the dress and keep on going. So, Blessed Chalk was left in the pool. You must hurry and find it. Do we want to peek outside again? Is it the same creature? Yes, it is. Thankfully, it doesn't take away this. Oh. Crap. Stamina penalty increased minus one. Should know better than that now, right? You enter the damp, smelling sport wing. You notice a backpack drifting on a swimming board in the middle of the pool. Could it be what you're looking for? Dead man's float. Let's enter the water. You enter the pool and start swimming towards the backpack. Suddenly the water turns murky and you realize you're not alone in the pool. It's a shark. A floated figure emerges from the murky water, blocking your only way out of the pool. Because there's no ladders or you can't just pull yourself out of the pool. It's like The Sims. Bloated teacher. Gross. All right, we've got our straight razor. We're going to going to attack boost, attack with weapon, and attack with weapon, and let's do that. Turn two begins. We're going to. Got it. You can defeat the bloated teacher, get seven experience, so you can see you have more experience now. Resolve combat. You found blessed chalk, which you can use to draw the sigil. Okay, so we need it to be... Uh, let's look at the diary. Okay, that's, so it's got like the little face. That's it, right? Yeah. Okay, so what does my fish do again? It gives me reason. My reason's fine, it's my stamina. I could cauterize. Let's wait though, I guess, until we are about to fight the, the lady. Um, it should be correct now. Okay, cool, I didn't see this. So now we need the holy candles. You can't go back to the lockers. Interesting. Oh, this is that nasty, nasty spider doll person. We have to keep exploring. This again. So everything's ready for the ritual. Seriously? <laughs> We're going to eat this fish and cauterize. That's as best we can do to get ready for this combat. Perform the ritual. Here we go. You are not beautiful, you are mean and scary. So we're going to... So we took her down by four. Um, straight razor. So we're hitting her. That's going to take attack boost. 
strong attack. the attack. Alright, so we're going to attack boost. No. Let's do prepare and then strong attack and then regular. Four damage. So that's... Mm -hmm. That would take us three turns to hit. I don't know if that's going to be enough. 10% chance. Strong attack. Oh, strong attack to six damage. Can I kick her? <laughs> okay. We've almost got her. Prepare your attack and then strong attack and then kick her too. We did it. 15. Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. You find your friend, gravely wounded but alive. You help him and you limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. Spine chilling story of school scissors ending A. The horror is over for now. That's not the only mystery plaguing this town. You must continue your investigation. Alright, so now we're going to go to... I don't know what... I don't have any mods going on on this game. Extra. Um, achievements. We have one achievement. Peking Tom. Meet a school wraith haunting the corridor. I have one of 80, so... Events Codex. Check what events you've seen and how many you're still missing. Um, the Advanced Float Drifting Classroom. Any bestiary? Scissor Woman. Loaded Teacher. Interesting. Okay. Back to menu. We're going to... Change the palette. Yeah. And let's do another new story. This is the what's new for the game. I don't know when this... Update was released. I could look at the Steam page. New story. Why is the two... But it's so much more. Let's just continue, yeah. Okay, so we've done the spine chilling. We're gonna go back to skeptic difficulty. So there's story, easy, normal, hard, very hard. Last stand or sudden death. And we're gonna keep all this on standard. We're going to do. The extracurricular activity, this option will prepare the standard skeptic playthrough for you line to start the game without wearing no in-depth stuff for now. Sounds good, let's do that. This has not changed. Blah blah blah. The missing stars. Media reports on various people with seemingly supernatural skills. Could it have any connection with the news about stars disappearing from the night sky? Old God's role. Casting spells raises raise doom instead. It's normal cost. Okay. Backstory. World of horror. Character exclusive perk cards only. First time playing? Yes. I haven't played this in a long time, so let's... 
Welcome and thank you for trying World of Horror, inspired by adventure games from the 80s. The visual overload may be a little disorienting in the beginning. Yes. In the short tutorial, I'll do my best to explain various elements and prepare you to fight the horrible old gods, Powell, creator of the game. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's the main game screen. Here you will interact with your surroundings. Solve mysteries and fight enemies right here, okay? That's the user interface part of the screen. Here you'll manage your inventory, cast spells, and access the game options, okay? That's you on the right. World of Horror has RPG elements and your attributes are described by six basic stats. Uh, move your mouse over them to learn more. Okay, so stamina, it represents your physical health. Once it reaches zero, your character dies, so basically your HP. Reason, it represents your stability and will to confront the horrors. Once it reaches zero, your character collapses and the game ends. Knowledge, stats are used to determine the outcome of events and, to, and the, the speed of certain combat actions. Charisma, so depending on what you're trying to do in the game, it, you roll against with a different stat. Funds, representing the amount of money you can spend. Perception, dexterity, strength. Okay. All right, continue. Um, that's your inventory. You can keep up to four items. Click here to inspect, use, or equip anything you pick up. There are three equipment slots. Equipped items do not count towards the four items limit. A is a weapon used in combat. B and C are trinkets and armor. As you progress, progress with your playthrough, more helpful tips will appear. Would you like to turn the combat tutorial on? As long as it doesn't... I was like, because I feel like the combat tutorial is what screwed me over in the fight with the scissor woman. But if this goes into all the combat stuff, it might be helpful, so I'll just say yes for now. Tutorial will continue during combat. Alright, so spells. I have multiply wound. Combat offensive. It deals damage to an enemy, which increases the lower your stamina is. Cost is stamina, so... Casting this doesn't cost reason, but it increases doom, right? Athulas, lower your last gaze. Forget the spell, I get plus one reason. So instead of it costing me two stamina, it just increases the doom, I think. Um, allies and perks, nothing there. Status, nothing here. Town status. Feeling of paranoia and discomfort is almost palpable in the air. Ew. Time passed. Seed. I don't know for sure what that means. What's a full log? Click anywhere to continue. I can't level up because I don't have any experience. Old God is this that this was the eye that was hovering over the school. Cosmic gift. Casting spells raises percent of doom, which is right here. Impending doom is zero percent. All right, so the lighthouse, the ominous lighthouse has been closed down for longer than you can remember. Multiple padlocks prevent you from entering the building. You need five keys. We've already opened this padlock. <laughs> so you get keys from solving mysteries. We're going to leave the lighthouse for now. We can't do anything here. Oops, leave leave. So we are going to, this is my character, um, gonna go home. You check your mailbox, it's empty. Back in your home, you think of your next move. You're not currently investigating any weird mystery. Recent newspaper clippings and notes collected in the next room should point you in the right direction. Choose an action. I don't want to start any new. I want to, can I change my clothes? You stand before a mirror, wondering which outfit to wear. <gasps> oh. mm. Mm. I think I like this one. Teacher's pet, captain, gym clothes, Sock Halen, gym clothes, captain. Let's go with this. Outfit is locked. Um, that's a nice movie poster. 
Looking good. I love the little- Oh! Inside a figurine you find some money. Okay, cool. I found a dollar. Doll hair. One doll hair. I go back. So I changed my clothes. Mm, storage. Nothing in my storage. Take a peep through the peephole. Take a peek through the peephole. Someone is standing in the shadow watching your door. Well, isn't that special? Watch TV. What's... Can I click around in here? Weird, nothing happens. My lats are broken. Um, watch TV. Demolition of an old inner city shrine has resulted in an array of unfortunate accidents and, most recently, the death of six people suspected of the arson. Choose an action. You don't have any VHS cassettes to watch. any VHS cassettes to watch. I don't know anybody's phone number. So I guess we must start a new mystery. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there is something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. Choose a mystery to investigate. So we have... The eerie episode of Evolving Eels, e. Curious Case of a Contagious Coma, Freaky Feature of Found Footage, Far Out Fable of a Fear Festival. Um, I thought there were five mysteries, right? Four? This only has two endings. This has three endings. Far Out Fable of a Fear Festival. That one sounds kind of cool. Let's do that. Going for it. Far Out Fable of a Fear Festival. Your aunt had sent you a letter inviting you for a curious sounding festival. It's held every 27 years in a small village. I do not trust anything that's like once every 25 years, once every 30 years. It's always some kind of like sacrifice. <laughs> you don't like the sound of it, but your parents both agree you need a break from all the stress. The stress of being a high school student? Inside the letter, there's a bus ticket. What's the worst thing that could happen? You ask yourself as you board the bus. Famous last words. Going to investigate this mystery. Today's goal, explore the weird village. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops at its destination. You get up and take a deep breath before looking around. It's a small village and the nearby fields are surrounded by a thick forest. Someone is waiting for you or is my aunt waiting for me? A fat man wearing dusty overalls approaches you. It's the inn owner who promised to pick you up. Following close behind him, your eyes are drawn to his hands, which are so deformed they resemble claws more than hands. Your group has arrived in the village and is currently unpacking at the end, giving you some time to explore. Festival begins the evening. To progress this mystery, choose actions that will advance the clock. As you learn about the terrible secrets of this village, more actions will unlock. Skip time advances the clock. No way, I want to investigate, especially in the daytime. Check out the inn. Sure, let's do that first. Inn's room is dusty like it hasn't seen any visitors in years. You wonder if anyone cleaned it since the last festival 27 years ago. There's a folder of available activities lying on the table. Can I look at the... I don't know, Onsen? What is this? Oh, 
I don't need to do that. Oops. Reaction. Oh, it's evening? Crap. I don't want... Uh, can I go back to the town? I'd like to go... You know, but you should you be resting. I didn't mean to rest. I didn't know what Ansen meant. Relax. Okay, whatever. Enjoy the festival. Explore the weird village. Feeling hungry, you've entered a small local restaurant and ordered the daily special made with today's catch. Just where the hell did those fishermen go? No way you're going to eat that. One bite won't hurt. I'm not going to eat that. The smell of the dish almost makes you sick and you run out of the ghastly restaurant. I did not. <laughs> A weird sound wakes you up. You step closer to the window and look out. You can't see anything and get ready to go back to bed when suddenly the moon comes behind from behind the thick clouds. The hooded figures are standing at the forest's edge. One by one, they light their torches and disappear behind the trees. What was that about? Who are they? They all wore strange masks. Should you follow them into the forest or try to find more information about the festival? Oh. Well? Maybe there's some... Maybe going into the forest in the day is better. <laughs> Investigating a thicket. Strange markings. A sudden storm forces you to find shelter in a nearby cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on the cave's walls. Try to decipher them. You wonder what it could all mean. Enjoy the festival. Do I want to enjoy the festival? Let's go to the festival tonight. There's still some time before the locals are seemingly busy setting up stands decorating a place. A few stands are already open, but you can't shake off the feeling something is wrong. It's getting late. Buy souvenirs? Armor, a colt. Cook and eat it. Okay, let's get um, this mask. I'm going to ghastly pale yellow. I'm going to equip it. Something is watching you from behind the trees, so now I can Fine, then let's go see who's watching me from behind the trees. In the forest, you hear faint whimpering in the distance. When you find it, you discover a wild dog held by the hind leg in a bear trap. The dog grows menacingly. I'm going to help that dog. You free the dog, but the rusty mechanism snaps and the trap closes on your hand. Ouch. Ow. Going back to the inn, you overhear two masked villagers. They are talking about something. Awakening up at the next dawn, you wonder what's up with that. It's not safe here. You decide to block entrance to your room with a nightstand. Festival is ending tomorrow, and you can't be too careful. Continue. Well, I feel like I have made no progress. Explore the weird village. Following a weird gargling sound, you enter an alley. Standing in the shadow, you notice a person wearing policeman's uniform. Move along, citizen. Nothing to see here. You've made a horrible mistake. Hmm. Lumpy officer. So this this old. <laughs> This old fun trick. A 
the branch. <sighs> Enjoy the festival. The locals are seemingly busy sitting up stands and decorating the place. Uh, look for friends. You stumble onto your friend, Asato. I need to move some stuff. Can you help? Sure. Why is it so quiet all of a sudden? Asato, let's see. Gain two pieces. There you are, a witch. Talk. Asato looks at you, waiting. What spells did I get? Speaking of spells, is there something that can heal me? No. Oh, if I let them go, I get two spells. Okay. Is it so quiet all of a sudden? It is that blood? Oof, where is everybody? Trail of blood and sickly swelling, smelling sludge leads to an outskirt of the village somewhere in the dark forest. There's an answer waiting for you. What's this do? Nothing. Night free. Continue. Four actions until sunrise. Are you walking in circles? What is this? Rest at camp? I think we should maybe rest. I got one reason. Huh. Dang. You have a feeling that you're being watched, and when you hear a branch snapping, you quickly turn around. There's someone standing in the trees just a few meters away. I'm gonna confront this person. Excuse me. The decomposing skin and vacant stare can only mean one thing. It's a corpse someone has propped up. The idea that someone could do it so close to you and so quietly makes you shudder. You start to recognize some of the paths and rocks you've seen earlier. Keep exploring this forest. Following the ghastly music, you find yourself in a forest. The sound is getting closer. Ribcage woman. Great. Support actions, what your support ask your ally to distract the enemy. Oh, I don't I don't think I've ever done that. We'll do that. Looks like I learned something about her. Can I rest? <laughs> All right. Um, Does this armor actually do anything? What if I cook it and eat it? Okay. 
can explore this abandoned hut. Small shrine. Following a trail of rotten fruit, you stumble on a small forest shrine. It's probably dedicated to some local spirit. The small statue looks alien and menacing. Mm. Should I pray or destroy the shrine? I'm gonna pray. Kneeling by the shrine, you discover a small piece of paper tucked behind the statue. Plus five experience. An abandoned factory. This must be the place where they took everyone. Did that... This is for when I'm attacking... Enemies. I was thinking that the scrap of paper might have some additional clues. Captured. While exploring the factory, you are caught by masked people you've seen from the inn's window. Tied up, they bring you to the cult leader. We knew you'd come. You hear a raspy voice. Your aunt's voice. What a biatch. Coming from behind the priest's weird mask. She signals toward towards door behind him. Our master is waiting for a final blood sacrifice. Well, that's rude. What is that? I think I died. I think I was sacrificed. With a loud bang, the ancient horror disappears and the high priest falls to the floor, grabbing their shoulder. The last thing you see before blocking, blacking out are the beams of flashlights and a hand of a police officer saving you from fall. Later that day, detectives interrogating you are confused when you tell them about the ritual of blood and eldritch being. Village is abandoned with no trace of blood anywhere. You are the only one seeing the ancient horror. Far out fable of a fear festival in Dean A. While you couldn't catch the leader of the cult to interrogate them, the people are safe. You board the old bus, wondering what would happen if you didn't stop the ritual in time. Rewards. I got 30 experience, 15 experience, minus 5 doom, and one day passed. Do I still have my friend? Also, what about my aunt being evil? The old god stirs. Click here to reveal its effect. Contaminated water. <laughs> There's something wrong with tap water. It is black and oily and glistening, smelling like death. You hope it's just a temporary issue. You can't regain health in between mysteries. Well, that's real bad. And I didn't get a key. Inside your mailbox, you find a small key. What is it doing in there? Take the key. I can't take a bath, can I? They still didn't fix it. It is black and oil. No way you're going to wash yourself in that. Can you use bottled water? Use bottled water. I don't think that did anything for me. Take a bath. Town screen, lighthouse. I have a key. Might as well use my key now. D. Okay. I'm gonna leave. Leave. It's empty. Let's look at the peephole. No one creeping on me today. Don't see anything weird. What's on the news? The TV host is gutting a big octopus. At least that's what she claims, because there are way too many tentacles. Okay. It's nighttime. Is there anything in here? Do I have any more secret money? Nothing in storage. No, no secret money. At least my money or my reason is doing well. We're going to TV still. This, oh, we are shocked after what she did. Her voice was always so calm. Mm hmm. Start a new mystery. We'll 
go here to the curious case of a contagious coma. A curious case of a contagious coma. More and more people fall unconscious and cannot be awakened. People trying to wake the patients up result with them falling into a coma themselves. A whole wing of the town's hospital has been dedicated for the comatose. Is there anything connecting these people? And how did this strange illness start? I'm going to investigate this mystery. All right. Let's check the news reports about this weird disease and try to find the cause before more people fall asleep. Patient Zero, investigate the village location twice to complete this quest. So it wants us to travel to the school. We're currently in the forest. Investigate the village. So we're going to do this quest. Let's check these reports. Downtown. We can go to shop for items. Let's shop for items. Compass. I like this backpack. Oh, I can't shop for more things? You could fit a lot in here. <laughs> um, I feel like I want a better weapon. Camera. Salt. Flashlight. Flashlight's probably going to be pretty handy. Alright. Do I not need to? Okay. We're going... I thought this would give me more... Allows two additional inventory slots. Equipment slot B. Backpack. No, I want to equip the flashlight. Alright, we'll see what happens. Let's go to this village and investigate. An old priest is performing a ritual to appease a local demon imprisoned underground. You're invited to join them. Participate in the ritual or kindly refuse. Let's just participate. Get a participation award. You've read about the ritual. Following the intricate pattern of steps, bows, and claps isn't a problem for you. Once the ritual ends, a priest thanks you and hands over an item. I got prayer beads. Faster spiritual actions. Cool. So we've done one. We're going to investigate the village again. Walking through the village, masked figures, oh boy. Walking through the village, you're su suddenly pulled behind a building. Two menacing looking masked figures block your escapes. Do you serve the old ones? Yes. We knew it, the prophecies were true. The masked figures relax a bit, taking off their masks. We apologize for this master, plus two allies, plus 10% doom. A man from the village hands you a package. This should help you understand the illness, plus one item, dust of seeing momentarily renders invisible creatures partially visible, sets any power to zero. I inspect white dust. It has no smell. I don't think I need that right now, do I? So I have two new allies who are evil. Plus two strength. Talk. Iowa looks around. Did you hear that? Never mind. So they give me plus two strength, and then Asato. Another. I have two Asatos. Do I want to gain two? Sp Let's let one go and gain two spells. How about that? Grow teeth. Adds new combat action. Bite until the end of the mystery. Gross. 
Ew. Expel evil. Support minus six doom. One time use only cost is two stamina. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so we've completed the side quest. Let's... I don't think I need to use this yet. Go to the school. I need to study the current mystery. Is that what I need to do? Costume Defender. Stumble upon the computer room. This is a good opportunity to check the school's database to look for it. Yeah, let's check it out. Success. You find a curious text file containing occult instructions. You delete it, preventing anyone from trying it. Minus two doom. To gain a new level, press the flashing button. Cool. Hell yes. You've advanced to the next choose one perk and one stat upgrade. Hot bath. What is this do? Improved resting at home. Well, I can't do that because the water is bad. Fast swimmer. Faster offensive actions. Outdoorsman, plus one luck attuned. I think this is better. Faster offensive actions. And then choose one perk and one stat upgrade. Let's. I don't think it's going to heal my stamina, though. Right? Let's see. What, I mean. Fast swimmer and more stamina. Let's do that. Continue. Oh, it did give me six. Oh, it healed it. Okay. Cool. Reports mention a patient zero. Who could they be? Uh, home. You can't investigate your home, and I cannot rest. I think, I guess I can rest, but I can't, like, take a bath or whatever between cases. We want to go to downtown. You're already here. I don't need to go to the hospital? I have a branch. Let's investigate downtown. Alarmed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of a policeman lying in a pool of blood. It looks like someone or something tore out his throat. Steal his gun, check his wounds for clues. Let's check his wounds for clues. They didn't tear out his throat, but instead carved an occult symbol with something sharp. You try to remember the shape and escape before anyone arrives, plus 15 experience. Okay. You have to sneak into the hospital and borrow the patient zero's information. Now we're going to the hospital. We're going to in heal injuries. I don't have any injuries, right? Nothing? Okay. So we're going to investigate the hospital. While taking an elevator, you get a terrible feeling as if something bad is about to happen. The elevator doors open. Brace yourself. Door luck check success. Elevator doors open, revealing a hospital corridor. You've got the name and address. Let's get out of here. Okay, but... I have to investigate again. Walking through the hospital corridor, you hear disgusting slurping sounds coming from a closet. Bloodsucker. Patient Zero's house seems empty. You should search it carefully. Okay. You know what? I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. I'll be right back. So now we need to go downtown to investigate. I 
I still have my allies. Fast swimmer. Faster offensive actions. Gives me two strength, that's really awesome. They look like the rock. going to investigate downtown. Another alley, great. Hearing footsteps, you turn around. Behind you stands a pretty woman in a sweater. Natural beauty. Yes, this is exactly what I need. You shudder, seeing the weird woman reaching to her pocket and grabbing a nasty looking knife. Pretty face, mind if I borrow it? Aspiring model. Ooh, she's strong. We are going to prepare our attack. Strong. Strong. Kick. Launch. I missed one. Ooh. soon. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Pick it up. You found an item. Lucky earrings. Resolve combat. The man dabbled in magic. You found a journal. Describing a certain village and instructions for a summoning ritual. It seems that he tried to contact a being from the dream realms. Lucky earrings. I can ascend my prayer beads, which do faster spiritual actions, or I can equip my lucky earrings. I haven't done any spiritual actions. I think you only use spiritual actions when you're fighting ghosts. So now we need to investigate downtown more. I'm just curious about when I should use this, if I need to know when to use it. Okay, so we need to do more. Can I rest at home? My doom's already pretty high. Wait, what did it say about home? You can't investigate your home, but I could, okay. We're gonna investigate downtown. Natsuhakamura. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery, and shadows move in fantastic and unaccountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Confront the stranger. You roll around and see who's behind you. Luckily, the other person is a kind old lady who points you to the tombstone you are looking for. Under a stone, you find a note someone left for you, a plus five experience. The quarantine wing is guarded closely. You must find a way to sneak through. Travel to hospital. I'm gonna investigate the hospital again. Therapy. You're stopped by a masked man wearing a lab coat. He introduces himself as a researcher from Tokyo University, testing a new treatment method that would revolutionize modern medicine. Holding out a pile of documents, he tells you he can heal your wounds for free. You just need to sign here. No. Mm -mm. No. You're all sweaty looking. You're nervous. And I don't think... Well, no. You politely decline the generous offer and continue on your way. There it is. Let's hope you find an answer here. Target location. Investigate the quarantine wing. Fingers crossed. Quarantine wing. You've managed to sneak through the floor, avoiding the police, and finally reaching the quarantine wing, where all the coma patients were brought in. Their pulse is slowly weakening and the blood pressure dropping. You must hurry. Let's use the dust of seeing. Ooh. 
Following the old man's advice, you throw dust of seeing in the air. It reveals weird, elongated monsters hanging from the ceiling, one above every bed. Each creature is connected to a patient with an undulating tendril. As you try to process everything, one of the disgusting creatures raises its head and looks in your direction. The creature causing the contagious coma plaguing your town has taken notice of you. You must defend yourself or perish. Ooh, it's got a lot of health. Okay, so we're gonna do prepare. What do my defensive? I can dodge. I can, that's nothing. Praise for impact. Meditate. I can't run from this encounter. Support actions. Ask your ally to distract the enemy. We're just going to keep doing what we always do. Prepare. joke. The creature's severed body falls on the floor and starts melting slowly. The remaining part slithers back into the now closing hole in the ceiling. You've managed to catch a glimpse of the other side. The other side makes you fall on your knees. It wasn't its body that you've managed to cut off, it was just a finger. Shaken, you sneak out from the hospital. One thing is certain though, it's the end of this weird illness. Rewards for solving this mystery, Dream Eater, the hospital is now safe. Plus 30, plus minus 5, plus... Okay. So we have completed this mystery. To gain a new level, press... Okay, so we've made it to another level again. Okay, so we can... Let's see what these perks are. Plus 1 luck, plus 1 knowledge. Smaller doom penalty. Well, we never run. So do we want 1 luck or... Folklore studies. I feel like this folklore studies is pretty handy. Um, yeah, luck. We, I don't know how much my luck is. I have a five knowledge. Attuned. I feel like this is helpful. I'll get the outdoorsman next, and then I'm just gonna increase my stamina again or add heal myself. I feel like with my my buds, I'm okay with my levels. Continue. Oh no. Arcane storm. Local scientists are baffled. An unprecedented unprecedented aurora-like event has bathed the entire town in an unnatural green glow. What does that do? Reason, cost of all spells is increased by one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Home. Take the key. Back in your home, you think of your next move. And I can't... Can I take a bath again? Use bottled water. Does that do anything? No. Take a bath. You've already taken a bath. Peek through the people. Someone is standing in the shadow watching your door. What's on the tube? Local dentist has been found guilty of implanting dog teeth on their human patients. Motive is currently unknown. Gross. Any other reports? No. Nothing in storage. Oh, I forgot I have the lucky earrings anyway. I've got plus two luck. Have 
one fund. Need to make some money. I've already taken a bath. You've already taken. Well, what if I want? Yeah. Custom mysteries. We're going to go start a new mystery. All right. So we've done this one. Freaky feature of found footage. Let's do the seals one because that one's really kind of grossing me out for some reason. Maybe I should look. Type a little message. And come and join me. Okay. I'm glad to have another person along for the ride. <laughs> Eerie episode of Evolving Eels. While returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around. It's your friend living in the same apartment complex, Kanna. That weird dude is back. You know, the one who studies fish? You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, they return with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious what weird fish did he bring this time? They grin. So that's why they're with me. Kana, investigate this mystery. Kana, I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some drawers inside his apartment. I wonder, what weird fish did he find this time? Will you check it out? He will surely recognize me if I try to do it myself, please? Ichthyology. Investigate the seaside location twice to complete this quest. We're going to... I like these side quests. That helped us a lot in the last one. We're going to the seaside. Hardware shop. I have no fun, so... <laughs> We're going to investigate the seaside. Look at, all, look at our group. Four people now. Ocean is... Cliffside ritual. Ocean is hungry. You're stopped by a person with a knife. They look incredibly sad. It wants me, but I'm afraid I'm too much of a coward to do it myself. Can can you help me? Um, I guess this would be able to disarm them. Uh, let's talk them out of it. I feel like if... Yeah. Charisma check. Success. After a long conversation, they hand you the knife and thank you. Plus one item. Resolve this event. So I got a ritual dagger. Sharp one-handed speed. Small chance of recovering reason after defeating an enemy. Is that blood? Its blade is covered with a strange liquid. Okay, that's probably better than a fucking branch. Right? <laughs> what the branch does. Three damage. This speed is 74 damage. Chance it is 60 though. But let's try something out. So we're still at the seed side. Seaside seaside so we're gonna investigate again um, item storage I guess let's investigate the seaside waves labs the labs lazily washed on the shore you take a deep breath the fresh sea air clears your head plus one reason oh that's nice you may be going crazy, but you can swear something is watching you from the sea. Minus one reason. <laughs> Giveth and taketh away. Alright, so... We're going to investigate the apartments. What does neighbor do? Neighbor, you knock on your friend's door and wait. Hey dork, I'm with you. Why are we going back to my place? Oh, that's different than home. Okay. Let's rest. You bandage the fresh wounds. You phone, you phone your best friend and talk about unrelated stuff. Plus you stay on a plus. Time flies by so fast. Prepare yourself to leave and continue your long investigation. 
Is there anything I can click? Why do I have this picture? I don't want that. Resting at home. I was like, maybe there's some more hidden money up in here. Okay. Let's investigate these apartments. Fire escape. Unfinished painting. While looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman, her skin a ghastly pale yellow color. The scene is disturbing. You struggle to look at it. Well, let's not look. Whew. Charisma check success. Unintimidated by the painting, it gives you new insight into the madness that possessed your friend. The friend that I'm currently with. It's nighttime and we're at the apartment. Resolve this event. Kana, dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? It must be empty because he just came back and his classes begin next week. Kana, you are trouble. Um, I think we have enough allies. The town. I can't even take a bath. All right, we're going to investigate the school with our friend who's bullying us. Black sludge, the corridor is flooded by a black sludge that's slowly oozing from under the door to the chemistry classrooms. A damp, moldy stench grows as you get closer. How are you going to get to the other side? I'm gonna take a detour. No walking through that, that's icky. Better safe than sorry, you take the stairs up to a, another floor to avoid the sludge, plus 2% due. Oops. The neighbor's office at school was empty. You did find a few jars, all filled, filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protests, Kana decides to take one jar home. Kana, have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How can they sip their soda so calmly, staring at this creepy creature? Great questions. So... Is there something that I can do that would decrease the doom? Expel evil. Yeah, let's just do it now. Okay, that decreased our doom. Okay, we're going to investigate these apartments. I coughed up blood and something else. Not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decide to take the rarely used stairs. You suddenly trip, but grab the railing in the last second. When you get up to inspect what caused you to trip, you freeze in terror. It is slowly standing up. Twisted corpse. Incorporeal enemy. This attack can't hurst, so it's a ghost. So I have. What do these do again? Faster spiritual actions. Equip. You don't have time to change the equipment. Okay, great. Kana, I've seen him burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go and check it out. Is this eel even alive? Okay, so that was her beads. Th that ritual dagger is pretty awesome. Um, 
Okay, so we're going to investigate the apartment still. So we're looking at the lobby. How dangerous can the lobby be? Mail day. When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Read the letters. I'm going to read the letters. Success! Sweet! It seems that you've won a small amount of money in the lottery. Lucky you. Plus two funds. Hey, would you look at that? Kana was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. You both return to your apartment and try to decipher the notes. Inspect. Legend from the blank prefecture. Eels tell of a small village of robbers who would kill all visitors and dump their corpses into a lake of eels. Eels of the prefecture would lay eggs inside human... That's gross. Kana, that's so weird. Your neighbor really was into eels, it seems. You begin to wonder if spying on your neighbor was a good idea to begin with. You begin to wonder... Storage. I don't know... Okay, so if I equip the backpack, then I can carry six things here. Okay, that makes more sense now. But I think the flashlight's better. Right? I was slowly learning how these things work. So... Should I go home and rest? Let's investigate these apartments again. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these. I can put them in storage. I've read what I think I can read. Fire escape. Again. I think we've... Next move. Oh! As you prepare for a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired, so maybe ice cold water is a good idea. It's nighttime in my new apartment. I'm smoking a cigarette in my bathtub. Maybe I'm not a high school student. So, can I take a bath, actually? So we're gonna take cold water. Thanks. Excuse me. Kana, there must be something more we can learn. I'll try to break into his apartment tomorrow morning. I wonder what he's hiding in there? No, don't do it. You shrug non-committal. You just wish you could throw this damn jar into the trash. Let's rest first before we go do that. It certainly feels good to be back at home. You swallow the painkillers. You phone your best friend to talk about unrelated stuff. Okay. Kana. Don't do it. So now we gotta investigate the seaside hardware shop. I feel like I'm okay with my items for now. Something gigantic and invisible leaves a deep void in the sea. It's not moving, but you swear it's watching you. Invisible watcher. It's still nighttime. Thinking about how stupid it is of Kana to try and break into your neighbor's apartment, you go to sleep. You spend an entire day waiting for Kana. Where the hell are they? Uh, they have eel eggs laid in them. She said she would do everything to be with you, even if it meant to cheat death itself. Stalker girl. She was a stalker girl. Toodles caboodles. Wait, what's that? Pick it up. You found an item, a cult diary. Resolve combat. Kana has been missing since yesterday. You decide to check out the neighbor's apartment yourself. What does this occult diary do? Not enough room. Let's put, the, put this in storage. What is a cold diary? Book. Occult personal. Minus 3% doom. Yes. Yes. Cool. I don't know if I need these burnt notes. But maybe if we need, like, evidence for something. I like that uh, occult diary. Just use it up. Took 3% away from there. Target location. Investigate the neighbor's apartment. Oh, boy. 
what horrible things are going to happen in to investigate this neighbor's apartment. You cautiously enter your neighbor's kitchen. You are shocked to see countless jars filled with eels flailing around restlessly. Where the hell is Kana? Burn it down. Let's just burn it down. Should I look in the bedroom? The bathtub? Bedroom. You finally found Kana. I... I found the neighbor, but when his eye burst, I slipped on the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye now, too. We must puncture their eye now, minus three reason. We must go to the hospital. Um, let's go to the hospital. You rush to the hospital with Kana, getting a lot of attention from horrified people. Your friend is taken immediately to the operating theater, and you collapse on a chair in the waiting area. Yeah. Kana has eels. Fall asleep. When you wake up, it's already night. Trying to ask about your friend, you are met with weird reactions as if she never existed. You rush to the operating theater yourself or are just stopped by armed policemen. Whatever happened, the doctors must have been too late to help. Fudge. You still process the events of a previous night. Corpse eating eels that lay their eggs and eyes. Sitting before your apartment building, you watch the police officers emptying your neighbor's place. You wonder if you will ever hear from your friend again. Sorry, Kana. The old god stirs. Click here to reveal its effects. Time skip. What? I had... I'd have sworn it was Monday, not Tuesday, right? Typical. Plus 5% doom. Regain a new level, press the flashing button. Regain one stamina for all past event skill checks. That sounds pretty awesome. Plus one dexterity. There's always a way out from hot bath. Improved resting at home. I think this sounds pretty cool. I'm just going to keep doing our stamina. Old God. Casting spells raises to an impending doom. We're level four. Let's go. So we have to go home. Inside your mailbox, you find a small key. What is it doing in here? Take the key. I can't take a bath, right? They still didn't. It is black and oily. No, you're not. I can't. Okay. Take a peep. Don't see anything weird. Um, I guess we should change our clothes, right? Let's go back to this. No more hidden money. What's on the TV? Demolition of an old inner city shrine has resulted in an array of unfortunate accidents, and most recently the death of six people suspected of the arson. You turn. can't see anything. Weird, nothing happens. Okay. Lighthouse. Let's use our keys. One left. Okay. I think we're almost done. We need to start a new mystery. Freaky feature of found footage. Freaky feature of found footage. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore and legends of the nearby forest. Now, on the first anniversary of the event, a suspicious man has started asking questions. He claims to be a private investigator hired by the parents of the students. Except the parents of your friends didn't hire him. Who is he, and what did the students discover out there? Let's investigate. 
Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about the local folklore. Maybe you'll find a clue about their last known whereabouts in the school's newspaper. Investigate the mansion location twice to complete this quest. Which story? We do have this folklore studies perk. Oh yes, we're gonna go to the mansion. Cursed Grimoire. You find a heavy tome wrapped in moth-eaten black velvet in an old locked cabinet. When you remove the book's wrappings, you recoil in disgust its bound in human flesh. Let's take it. Grabbing a book, you cut yourself on a rusty nail, driven through the... Man. Coughing blood. Minus two dexterity injury. Should I be... Okay, we're going to have to get that healed up. That's gross. Dusty Grimoire. Cost. Two reason. Use random effect. Trinket. Usable. You just feel drowsy just by looking at the cover. Can I... It's only worth one doll hair. No. Hospital. Wait patiently in the reception area. Can I find some money to steal? Nurse walked past you in a hurry. Into the morgue. The morgue store is closed. Take it. What are you doing? The upper floor is eerily silent in comparison. I'm looking for money. Check out the patient room. You shouldn't bother the recovering patients. Maybe American Khan is here. All right. You finally are asked to your the doctor's office. Now, how can I help you today? I have additional actions available on the injury cards. Coffee and blood. Can I? There. Discharge summary. Discard plus 20 experience. Treatment. Okay. Exit. Let's go back to the manor. No longer coffee and blood, thank goodness. We're gonna investigate the mansion again. Bad feeling. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. Location's threat level increases. Resolve. The legends say the witch was buried alive for kidnapping and murdering two children. It points you in a specific direction, potentially saving you some time. This is the Blair Witch. <laughs> okay, we're going to investigate the school. Dead man's float. The pool is empty at this hour. It's dark, but you could swear something suddenly moved under the surface of the water. Let's check out the lockers. Turn on the lights. I would turn on the lights. You turn on the lights. Luckily for you, no horrors look at lurk in the water, plus one reason. Okay, that's cool. So we found some notes. The notes mention a village not far from your town. You decide to take a bus. Getting closer, you can't help but notice a large number of trees that have suddenly died. What happened here? We're going to investigate downtown. Shop for items. Petty thief. While you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologizes. Realize what's happening. Before you realize you're the thief is long gone. Well, they got my one doll hair. Everyone in the village is unsettlingly, unsettlingly friendly. An old farmer points you to an old stone. A missing group supposedly started their forest trip there. Welcome to the rice field. As you walk through the village, crops waver in the breeze, following your every movement. Minus two reason. I don't need two spells, dang it. I was like, maybe if I let that person go, it'll give me reason. Looking back one last time, you continue deeper into the woods. Um, so we can just, I guess, knock out the corners. Investigating and clearing. Petrified forest. Dropping tree branches hang 
drooping tree branches hang over the path, framing it in an almost macabre way. It's almost inspiring. Get lost in thoughts or get a grip. Get a grip. You quicken your pace and leave, leave the menacing path and I got minus one reason. Don't get a grip, fine. Next time, you have a feeling someone is following you. Follow me to this corner. Resting place. It's said that a famous priest died on this rock. Perhaps his mysticism has seeped into it. Tap into his power. Touching it with your hand, you feel a newfound knowledge forming in your mind. Plus spell. Gain a spell. Book of Gore. Plus three reason and stamina. Add one random injury. All the paths look the same. Are you lost? Probably. <laughs> Investigating the stream. White sands. A parasitic organism burrows under the bark, undulating slowly. I don't have a steak knife. I have a ritual knife. Success. Doesn't that- yes, I was like, each thing I pass, it gives me plus one stamina. All nearby trees are connected underground. The main branch leads east. You make a mental note to avoid the region plus five experience. Isn't that perks? Discipline. For all past defense. Yes, okay. But I need to heal my reason. Prayer beads. Faster spiritual actions. Resolve this event. Okay, all the past look the same. Are you lost? Let's just get bingo. Do this full bottom row. Investigating the abandoned hut. Site of the ritual, the, rum the rumored witch house seems empty. In the basement, however, you find a camera pointed at the large hole in the ground on the table next to the camera. You see three cassettes, each titled after one of the missing friends. Then you hear a curious sound coming from the hole. Maybe they're down the hole. Let's just peek inside. It's probably really bad. Wishing well. You kneel down and lean forward to see what's inside the hole. It takes a while to process what you are looking at. It's a gigantic eye staring right at you. Hypnotized, you continue to lean in, feeling weaker and weaker as the gargantuan beast lures you in. Lose consciousness. At the very last moment, the suspicious tall man grabs you by the collar. He explains he is part of a cult protecting the house and the mysterious entity below it. You've got a bigger purpose than to die here, he says before knocking you out. You wake up a few hours later on a bus heading back to your town. The forest is restless. It's 30, minus five doom, time passes. All right. Oh boy. This friendly dog disappeared last night. We'll have to find a new place to buy equipment. Poor dog. So, home. I think this is the last key. Right? a bath. Can't see anything. Nothing in there. Let's change our clothes. Teacher's pet. Nothing in storage. Okay. Nothing weird. What's on TV? That story. What does this do again? Book of Gore. It gives me. I don't have any money to heal though. Status. Town status. Um, I solved all the mysteries. So now it's time to go to the lighthouse. I can't um, rest at my house because house, the water's dirty. That story about the dog teeth and human people. I think we have all we're gonna get, so let's go investigate. Maybe not glasses for this. Maybe just gym clothes. Lighthouse. The ominous lighthouse has long been closed down for longer than you can remember. We're gonna enter. Alright. 
time to enter the lighthouse. Lighthouse, ground floor. You finally made it inside the cursed lighthouse. Your gut is telling you two things. That whoever or whatever is behind the weird events must be on the highest floor of this place. And that you should run as far as you can. You're afraid there won't be a way back once you start climbing these stairs. Rest a bit. Let's see. I wanted to get to 20 reason. Climbing up the stairs. Veil of darkness. Following the winding staircase, you are stopped by darkness. A thick black cloud is obscuring your vision, and you can swear something is waiting for you inside of it. Light your way. I have a flashlight. The light source seems to somehow repel the darkness, and you continue to climb the staircase safe. Plus 10 experience. That's awesome. I have, oh, oh. Excuse me, I just need to level up before I, I deal with you. Well, I'm not going back to rest. Natural guide to outdoors and plus one luck. Plus charisma. Um, I feel like my uh, stamina is at its peak. My reason, I don't know what my peak, my top reason is. So I'm increasing my charisma. Let's just double increase the charisma. Conspirant, delinquent girl. You are stopped by a girl wearing dirty black school uniform. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further. She says, reaching for her bag. It's too late anyway. You instinctively take a step back when you notice a knife in her hand. You have to think fast. Try to reason with her. You try to talk her into allowing you to pass. It's too late anyway. She whispers again, letting you continue. The delinquent girl nods sadly as you pass her. Plus 10 experience. Continue climbing. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Wall of photos, you. Following... The winding staircase, you are stop. Wait a minute. Someone has been taking your photos. They focused on the enemies you fought with. There's something wrong, but you can't precisely say what. Select the enemy you fought as the second one. Oh. The second enemy I fought was... I think Lumpy Officer? Wrong answer. Dang it. It was the ribcage woman. Trail, trial of blood and ice. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. It's locked, but you notice an electrical cable. It seems to connect the door to a hole inside the central pillar. If there's a switch inside, you'll have to risk getting cut by the numerous glass shards and knives. I have no choice but to find a switch. Dexterity check success. Great. You've managed to locate the door switch while avoiding the knives and glass shards. I had to stick my hand in that. With a buzz, the gate opens. Plus an experience. Continue climbing. Trial of blood acid. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. The cable that should be powering it is currently disconnected. The power box itself is covered in a weird moist goo just inhaling the fumes Makes your eyes itch and water, but to power the gate, you'll need to disconnect a faulty plug. No. No, we don't need to do this. Disconnect the faulty plug. Strength check success. Weird goo burns your fingers, but you quickly manage to separate the faulty plug and connect the proper cable with a buzz. The gate opens plus an experience. Continue climbing. The dark clouds swirl around the lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? Do I click this? Um, spells. Is that the end? Do I have to do it? <laughs> that gave me a fright. As the unnatural fog slowly lifts, you are relieved and collapse on the floor. The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. 
You've managed to stop the ritual awakening the eldritch old god, but what's done is done. It will stir in its slumber again and again until the stars are right again. Congratulations, you are safe. For now. Okay. Congratulations, you survived. Level 5, difficulty level skeptic. Summoned incoming demon. Your playthrough lasted 83 minutes and 3 seconds. Four mysteries, you saw 36 new events, seven new enemies, and you unlocked five new achievements. Well, that's pretty good. I guess let's look at our achievements. We made, well, That was like our first achievement. Fit Girl, complete a game with a second character. Curse cartridge item. Roll a wandering a stat check, unlocks Hermit. Endless mode. Run a playthrough using level 4 backstory unlocks medical history. Defeat Dream Devourer without killing a single patient unlocks Maria. Oh, okay. Events Codex. Unfinished painting. I wish you could curse Grimble, so. 25%. Mouth slit. Survived generic. So I have two endings. <laughs> Back. Uh, Rib cage woman. Okay. Well, I feel like we made good progress today. Thank you for joining me or for watching later. And uh, yeah, again, this is World of Horror. And I will see you all tomorrow. I'll probably be streaming at the same time. Thanks for coming by. Bye.